This is the solution for toxins in the food. Fruits, fresh vegetables. If man makes it, don't eat it. If God makes it, it does. But understand what you're looking at here in this in this in this basket here. Broccoli, one of the most powerful anti-cancer foods around. Apples, loaded with soluble fiber. These are fibers that literally go in and clean out the arteries. Carrots loaded with beta carotene. Oh my gosh. Exercise. We already talked about how deep breathing in, deep breathing out. That will change your blood system from acidotic to alkaline. It lowers your risk of disease. So even moderate exercise, appropriate food. Water, ideal. How much water should you drink? 50% of your body weight in water in ounces a day. So a 200 pound man should drink 100 ounces of water. 200, 100 pound girl, because no woman weighs over 100 pounds, uh, <clears throat> should be drinking 50 ounces of water. Okay? Okay, so, but water is huge. But remember, it can't be distilled. Okay, no reverse osmosis, because those take vital minerals, minerals away. Mountain spring water is the best. But water is vital. Direct sunlight, we already talked about that. Motion, vital. You have four times the amount of lymph than you do blood. Blood, you have a pump, and this blood uh, keeps the blood under pressure and allows it to flow. Lymph can't flow in your body. Have you ever heard that cancer spread to the lymph tissue? Oh no. Yeah. Lymph needs movement. Can I show you several studies that show that movement will decrease your risk of cancer? Yeah. All the time. All the time. Study after study after study. This is scientific. But now I want to talk to you because I want to explain a little bit about fibromyalgia and show you what normal living is like. Let's look at this. Does this patient look like they're in pain? This patient came to me a few years ago. Now, obviously, that is a problem. Now, we know that if these subluxations exist, that causes nerve pressure, means the organs can't function right. But let's look at the main thing. Do you think this person's under pain? Did that scare you? Yes, it did. It was meant to. Okay, good. What I just did, did I just cause you to get scared? Okay, well under physical, chemical, or emotional stress, your body responds like you're being chased by a tiger. So right now, is this person responding under physical, chemical, or emotional stress? Yes or yes? So their heart rate's elevated, yes? Okay, also if you're being chased by a tiger, your liver's gonna break down more glycogen to glucose, so blood sugar's gonna be elevated. So in this body, is her blood glu glucose gonna be elevated? Yes or yes? Now also, LDL cholesterol, that's what ignorant physicians will call bad cholesterol. It's actually a precursor to stress hormones. It's used for tissue repair. It's elevated under stress. Understand that? You don't need a drug to lower it. Anybody that's got high LDL cholesterol, they're under stress. Okay? So understand that this person here, their body's in a fight or flight syndrome. So now, can we solve that stress? Yeah. But let's look at the care that she was getting. She had pain. What did she get? Pain reliever. She had muscle spasms. What did she get? A muscle relaxant. I know muscle relaxants don't work on the muscle. They're neuro, central nervous system toxin. They attack the base of the brain. I know that, but let's just give it to her anyway. Okay, now, um, do you think she's having trouble sleeping at night? Yeah. Ambien. Okay, now I know the side effect of Ambien is muscle aches, joint pain, stress. Okay, but let's not talk about that. Okay, now she's taking three medications. Did that upset her stomach? Yeah. Okay, Provacid. Okay, now I know that the side effect of antacid is muscle aches and joint pain. We're already taking a couple for that, but let's just not. Okay, now she's taking four medications. She's still hurting really, really bad. Now she's been doing this for about four years. She's taking four drugs. She has a, a disease that's supposed to be incurable. Okay, she's just a mother of three. Do you think she's happy or sad? Prozac. Okay, now. The Prozac, <laughs> muscle aches and joint pain. Okay, so now we've got five medications. Okay, she's still, still doing good or bad? Good or bad? Miserable. She comes to me, she can't work. She's got three kids, she's going to lose her job. She's taking five medications. Her health insurance is going to be cut off. This is her 90 days later. It took us 90 days to get her off of all the medications. Okay, drug free normal. Now, this is about um, four or five years ago, now she's holding down two jobs, she just bought a house, and in this economy that's pretty good. Um, she got a life back. This is huge. So is there a solution? Is the body built by God? Is it smart? Yes or yes? yes? Yeah. To take a drug to cover it up, is that science or is that passing out products? 
Yeah, I don't like passing out products. I think the body's intelligent. Yes or yes? Good, absolutely. Okay, right now, let's look at this. For women's health, proper nerve supply, 100% of the time. You need regular exercise. What does exercise do? Think about this. This is amazing stuff. It not only detoxes your body, it allows lymph to flow. It opens and closes the joints. Oh my gosh, what could be better? In fact, now we're going to start, an, it starts uh, March 14th. We're going to have a yoga class. My yoga instructor is over here. It's super special. Okay. Um, she's going to talk about it on Saturday, the 14th in the morning, and then you know we're going to have classes here every Saturday. Why am I opening up the clinic for yoga? It'll help you. Okay, it's important. Proper nutrition. If man makes it, don't eat it. If God does, eat it. Okay, this is huge. This means 80% of your diet raw, natural, healthy. If you're going to eat meat, okay, make sure it's organic. Make sure it's healthy, make sure it's grass-fed, not grain-fed stuff. Sufficient rest. This means rest without the TV at nighttime. This means sufficient deep sleep, no, so you're not sleeping with the TV on, you're not sleeping with the lights on. We talk an entire half hour on sleep. Prayer and meditation. Again, I like science. Is every one of these science-based? Yeah. Prayer and meditation increases cell production, increases immune system production. You got a good relationship with the Creator, it helps. Okay, and that's science. This is the kicker. How many people do you know if they don't have the diagnosis? Di means to, agnos means not to know. Okay. So it would be kind of silly to have a diagnosis. But if they haven't had the label, let's call it a label of fibromyalgia, um, bring them in. I don't care if they're in a different state or a different town or a different anything. This is a crazy treatment where you're covering up symptoms with medications. Anybody that is covering up a symptom with a medication, there's a better, healthier alternative. So that's not science. Okay? Adult and childhood vaccinations next week. Oh my gosh. We're going to put seat belts on the seats because you're going to find out that the 74 vaccinations that a child today is lined up to get, did you know that last February, 74? I know 75 vaccinations would make them healthy, um, but you're also going to find out the science behind it. Okay? Did you know that as adults, you have 13 vaccinations that you should be receiving to be along the CDC recommendations? Is that scientific or unscientific? Next week, inquiring minds want to know. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs>